All right, we've got all our uh, our carburetor parts here, and uh, I ended up getting a new gasket kit from previous video, uh, the 376-13A kit for the Tecumseh engine. That kit came with gaskets for this part here. It also came with a new gasket for this part of the, uh, the air filter. And um, I also, in addition to that kit, got this float valve kit from Stens. This is part number 525265, 525265. Um, and uh, that came with a new needle valve and a new little washer, as well as the rubber gasket that's going to go around here and uh, a new washer that's going to go on there but the needle it actually comes with a little rubber washer and that little rubber washer this is the part of the carburetor where the needle goes into and inside there is the old washer so as long as I have a new one I want to pull this one out and use the new one and I have a, a little pick here I actually the tip broke off on me but it's still going to work for this purpose I get it down in there get it through that rubber there it is pull out the old rubber gasket and then we'll put the, the new rubber gasket in place careful not to bend anything Gotta be smarter than the plastic here. There we go. All right, there's the new little rubber gasket. Get it down in the hole. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is take the appropriate size punch here, and I'm just gonna use it to press that rubber washer down into the bottom of the hole. Let me see if I can use even a larger one. There we go, that's better. All right. And that happened to be a 3 16 punch. Now we're going to reassemble our, our carburetor. We've got the new needle. Next one. Make sure it's going on smooth all the way around. Alright. 
this with the new washer. for the breather now remember we've got this piece which is the bracket for the governor spring All right, we'll tighten those up. And then we'll get ready to put this back on the engine. 